Remember the first time you walked me home? Yeah, high school. Yes, high school. Look how far we have come. So, do you regret it? On a scale of 1 to 10? Yeah, on a scale of 1 to 10. How much do you regret it? Negative, sir. Error 404. Regrets not found. <laughs> you know, I miss you. Me too. Hey, do you know our rabbit is getting fatter? But she is now so lonely because no one is here to play with her. Yesterday, one of my friends asked me that if I'm depressed. And he invited me to a bar to have fun. As if like, I got a problem. And you know, <laughs> Eric wife is pregnant. <laughs> he looks so happy when he shares with me. Everybody else seems so happy. <sighs> what am I doing here? <sighs> Look at me. Talking to myself for so long. That I forget what I'm supposed to do. <sighs> Remember the trip you talked about last week? The ticket expired yesterday. I promise you that we will go for a vacation. But now, you know, many people ask if anything was wrong with me. They all seem to think that there was something bad happening to me. No, they didn't mean any harm, but they don't know anything. I know you are not there, but I hope you are listening. And I hope you will understand why I'm doing this. You know there was a future for us. you now you're nothing but a cop just a cop <laughs> come on just tell me that this is not true come on, come on. wake up and prove to me that this is not true I 
promise you. I promise I will always be there for you. But I can't even keep that single promise. Hey, hi, baby. But why, why are you here? Because I will be here whenever you are thinking about me. Tell me, why haven't you forgiven yourself yet? Because I don't want to forget you. Are you trying to forget me? No. Then that's the answer. Forgiving doesn't equal to forgetting, you know. <laughs> you can be such an idiot sometimes. Don't punish yourself anymore. I don't want to see you staying at the same spot, refusing to move on. It's not your fault. Just let go. Well, it's never an easy experience to go through when you lose someone who is near and dear to you. Sometimes this sense of loss may not necessarily just be towards a person, it could be a beloved, say, family pet as well. You know, some people live their entire lives believing that they were a fall at it, and some people cannot come to a sense of peace that their God has forgiven them. And sometimes they, they bring it all the way to their, to, to their deaths. So it's hard to blame themselves. I think that that conscience, that part of you that realizes that you were in some way a cause of this, it's a very, very painful and very powerful reminder of where you've gone on. Accepting it, maybe, and it, it, it would be an important part towards learning how to forgive yourself, to know that you've made a mistake in the past. Accepting that you have fallen short, that you are not a fully good person, is one step towards self-forgiveness. The next step is a much more difficult bit, reclaiming yourself and finding ways to make amends. Maybe not necessarily to your deceased, but maybe to the world around you. We've seen wonderful stories as well. People who turned their life around, they've been criminals, cons, who caused harm and hurt to other people there, but they've dramatically turned their life around uh, and sought to do good for society. A part of their, their guilt and maybe their shame still resides within them, but they no longer dwell on it, they channel that instead to much more beneficial means. We live our lives assuming that life goes on and we never thought about the possibility of losing someone. Hence, we bear our losses with regret and guilt. If one day I shall die, I want you to forgive me and to forgive yourself. 
because this is beyond our control. At least we have left something more precious behind. Our memories. You should move on with these memories and let go of your guilt, your self-blame, your resentment. Because while life can only be understood backwards, it can only be lived forwards. And with that, I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied too.